Welcome to the Today in History channel, in today's video we will talk about the day. January 24, 1935, Invention of the Beer Can As early as 1909, the first attempts were made to fill canned beer, although doubts about the chemical reaction that could occur between the metal and the contents and the difficulty of obtaining a closure that could withstand the internal pressure delayed its use. However, the use of the can had enormous advantages, a lighter and easier to transport packaging, resistant and with a large decorative surface, which would allow to play with the brand design and differentiate itself from competitors in an innovative way. American brewer Kruger, from the USA, decided to invest in the first line of manufacturing and filling cans, the first were launched on the market on January 24, 1935, under the name of Finest Beer. In six months, its sales multiplied. At the end of the year, 37 factories were producing canned beer, and in one year 200 million units were sold. Although the former were flat-topped, many cans still looked like metallic bottles, as they had a neck and lid closure with a metallic crown. However, the advantages of the flat closure, which was opened with a special can opener in the shape of a spout, which made two holes, were soon noticed. In addition, the vaulted bottom was adopted, which improved the resistance to internal pressure. Subsequently, various shapes and models were tested, improving the design. In the United Kingdom, in December 1935, Felonfold launched his first canned brand, Pale Ale, on the market. A year later, there were about 40 canned brands in the UK. Its production quickly expanded across Europe. In 1939, a two-part tin called Crowntainer was launched, antecedent of the current cans in which, improved, remained in use until 1963, when the easy-to-open aluminum seals were implemented, with a tongue with ring. In Brazil, the Danish brewery Skoll, established in the country in 1967, launched, in 1971, the first Brazilian canned beer. In 1989, the cans became aluminum, with Skoll, again, pioneering its use. The use of aluminum in the manufacture of cans by means of impact extrusion meant, from 1964, a great saving of material. In 1967, this system was replaced by another for stamping, inlaying and drawing which, since 1980, has become the only production model. Recent advances in its design were the introduction of the stay-on-tab ring attached to the lid, with it the risk of ingesting it disappears, in addition to facilitating the complete recycling of the can. Another advancement is the widget, a system, identified by the consumer as a plastic ball that goes inside the can, which allows to serve the content with the same flavor and texture characteristics of a keg. If you like the video of a force subscribing to the channel, like, comment and share. To receive new videos, see you next time.